What's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Max's Corner. Today I will be sharing with you guys my predictions and standings for the NL West. But before we start, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, like this video while you're at it, and follow me on Instagram at Max's underscore Corner YT. We are going to go in alphabetical order um, team-wise and say their top players, and then I will talk about uh, their records and where they will stand towards the end of the video and then the division winners helmet is under this towel oh, oh, Sneak peek. Oh psych. Gotcha. Okay, first team Arizona Diamondbacks. They have Madison Bumgarner. They have Ezra Brawl Cabrera They have Cattell Marte who had a massive season in 2019 um, And he had a pretty good season in 2020. I'm still not sure that he's He's the real deal. Uh, there was a shortened season last year, so uh, I, I I think he'll do all right. They have David Peralta and they have Cole Calhoun. Uh, people underestimate Cole Calhoun. I think he's a pretty good player. Uh, if only the Angels add him and if Bauer signed with the Angels, whew, that would be a great team. But unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, uh, Cole Calhoun is on the Arizona Diamondbacks. Second, we have the Colorado Rockies. They lost Nolan Arenado, which is huge. I mean, that is massive because now they have Charlie Blackman and they have Trevor Story. And I mean, it's sad to see a team who would consistently make the playoffs. Now they might, they could finish last in the division. Um, third, we have the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, they signed Trevor Bauer, which was massive. They are the reigning champs. They have Betts. They have Bellinger. They have they re-signed Justin Turner. They have Corey Seager. They have Max Muncy. They lost Jock Peterson to the Cubs, but they signed Knable and they signed Blake Trinan, which are two huge relievers. And their starting rotation and their bullpen is scary. And uh you know, they could win the division. They could. But you know who else could win the division? Our next team, the San Diego Padres. They extended Fernando Tatis', Tatis Jr.'s contract. They signed Blake Snell and Hugh Darvish. They have Hosmer. They have Myers. They have Grisham. They have Paddock. They have Tommy Pham. They have Manny Machado. I mean, that team might be my second favorite team to watch in the MLB besides, besides my hometown Brewers. Um, but Padres, man... Will they finish first? Will they finish second? Will they finish last? You'll have to you'll have to stick around uh, to watch the video. Next um, and last team uh, to round off to round off the the talking about the division and the teams. We have the San Francisco Giants. They are an aging team. They have Mike Mike Yastrzemski, who is probably their best player, and he's thirty years old. They have Brandon Belt, who's in his thirties. They have um. Crawford, who's in his 30s. They have Posey, who is, he went from being the one of the best, if not the best catchers in the league, to now he's he's not so great. They have Evan Longoria, who's old. They have Johnny Cueto, who isn't uh, prime Johnny Cueto anymore. The fun Johnny Cueto that we always used to watch go like that and then pitch. You know, it's crazy how he did that. Um, but they're an aging team, and they're definitely an old team. So um, will that help them with the experience? Will that not help them because they don't have any young, versatile guys? You never know. Let's get into the, to the division standings. Now, I just talked about the San Francisco Giants, but we're going to talk about them again because they're in last place, finishing with a record of 59 and 103. That's a pretty bad record. Finishing in fourth place in the division, the Colorado Rockies, because they lost Arenado. They only have Blackman. They only have they have Story, and that's about it. It's the sad truth. Um, finishing with a record of 65 and 97. Now here comes the good part. The Arizona Diamondbacks are in third with a record of 70 and 92. They they I don't know if they've proven themselves to be a good team. Uh, Cattell Marte, you know, again, he might have a good season. He might not. David Peralta, Azrubal Cabrera, uh, Masson Bumgarner, Cole Calhoun. You never know if those guys are going to be good or not, okay? But I have them finishing in third. Now, 
We're down to the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The reigning champs are the San Diego Padres, who are loaded, but the Dodgers are also loaded. The San Diego Padres are not going to win the division. It is going to be the Los Angeles Dodgers winning with a record of 98 and 64. Padres coming a close second with a record of 91 and 71. But I'm going to be honest, the Padres do have a pretty good chance of winning this division. Both of these teams are loaded. You have the Padres with Again, they extended Tatis. They have Snell, Darvish, Hosmer, Myers, Grisham, Paddock, Pham, Machado. And you have the Dodgers with Bauer, Betts, Bellinger, uh, Turner, Seager, Muncy, Gavin Lux. Is he going to play? Um, and I think Gavin Lux is going to be really good, if we're being honest. And I just think the Dodgers have what it takes to, to beat the Padres in the NL West. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below who your NL West winner is. If you can't comment, go over to my Instagram. Again, at Max's underscore corner YT. And uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later.